Many people believe that anxiety is a disease, a bully, or a villain to fight against. The problem is that battling anxiety tends to make people anxious about being anxious, and running from or avoiding anxiety can lead to more suffering and a narrower life. Even though it can feel like a roaring beast, our anxiety is actually an inner bodyguard that tries to protect us from threats. Since anxiety is a normal part of life for humans, how we respond to our inner beast matters. Rather than struggling with it when it shows up, you can have a more comfortable relationship with your anxiety. You can start by giving your anxiety a more soothing home within your nervous system. When your nervous system is agitated, your anxiety naturally howls louder. You can give your anxiety a more soothing home by doing things such as prioritizing sleep, exercising, eating healthy foods, minimizing stimulants like nicotine or caffeine, practicing mindfulness, and spending time with loved ones. You can also train your anxiety beast to be a better inner companion. If you avoid things that you're afraid of, your anxiety won't have the opportunity to learn and grow. By facing your fears, your anxiety can learn to be less reactive in those situations. You can decide what you want your anxiety to learn and then provide it teachable moments using exposure therapy. You can decide for yourself, what is a good life? Is it a life filled with friendships? Perhaps it's a life with more romance. Ask yourself, what lies just beyond your comfort zone? Then you can choose to take your anxiety beast gently by the hand as you show it the best life that you can. It's not a matter of whether or not you'll be anxious in life. You will at times. The question is, how will you treat your anxiety when it inevitably shows up? Will you fight it or soothe it? Will you train it or will your anxiety beast train you? I'm Dr. Eric Goodman, author of Your Anxiety Beast in You, A Compassionate Guide for Living in an Increasingly Anxious World. The illustrations were by Louise Gardner.